Hello everyone, this is Sekushan from Twitter. Today we're going to talk about uh, the PSVR uh, 2. Um, uh, it has been known that uh, it has uh, been uh, released uh, today. Well, maybe not today, but yesterday, I think. Um, there, there are some, uh, some, uh, some, uh, some sources that they released. If you go here to the to the PS PS VR two OSS page, um, let me see if I can find it. Should be around here somewhere. Okay, so it's here. You can see that they use uh, four different kinds of open source software. Software. Uh, they use Musibox, uh, Agen, uh, Gi libc and Linux kernel. Uh, this is the most important one. If you go here, you can see that uh, they have the Linux kernel for the version uh, 1.10 or below and for version 2.00 and above. So if you go here, you click here, uh, it will download the file. Uh, I already have it downloaded. Uh, if you open it, you find a bunch of stuff but the most important one is the folder called um, current module this folder uh, has uh, some interesting some interesting um, subfolders that, that contain some files about the the interaction of the device uh, with the uh, with the the PC so yeah that's nice um bunch of a bunch of files um, if you open up the files you can see that has uh, the transactional key values you can see that it's uh, it's a MediaTek device so um, lots of, of fun things here you, you can also see the size of the the mm mmc uh, uh, you can see the devices. You can see how to operate uh, this with the uh, with the kernel. So lots of fun things here. Uh, if you go uh, to the um, to the include folder, also lots of fun things. Uh, it seems to, to support uh, device firmware up update. Uh, you, you have the 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 audio, the IMU and USB uh, for the for the device. The definitions for the kernel module and see a bunch of devices that uh, the PSVR2 uses uh, some fun things USB authentication USB data EMU P2S uh, etc so this is this is interesting because you might be able to find a vulnerability on the on the on the file on the files or on the, on the Linux, um, you have uh, you have a bunch of uh, of uh, fun things that you can look at uh, for uh, for maybe a flaw or something. And the log file you can see here the the log driver for logging stuff. Very very interesting. Um, log to log the information from the, the device uh, if you go here to the M MTK wrapper this is perhaps the most interesting folder because you can see uh, that uh, that uh, we, we know we know exactly which device uh, is being used it's a uh, Mediatek uh, 3612 uh, uh, dash uh, a0 so uh, it's a uh, a device that is should should you, should you uh, find a vulnerability for it, uh, you can find you can find for uh, for uh, for a way to dump its contents on the PSVR2. So uh, you can you can get uh, from from the PSVR2 and also from the DualSense since it uses from the the same chip. Uh, the main chip is the same. And also the I, I think the media remote should al should also be supported. 
So here yeah, I wrote some fun things. Debug file system. Um, yeah, this is really really cool. Um, yeah. So yeah, uh, you can take a look at this. Uh, if you are a hacker, you can you can try to to give it a shot at hacking. Uh, you can see here the the thermal. Uh, thermal measurements you can see the slice of the resizer um, the ADID for the for the HDMI uh, lots of lots of fun things um, the SE audio for the for the other device you can see here the all the registers etc uh, if you go here to the IMU you can see here the SPI interface can see here the the device so lots of interesting things ICM uh, for 426 so yeah this is very very cool good for tinkerers to to mess with the uh, with the PSVR so this is this is just uh, some some regular news for uh, for you uh, it was very kind of Sony to to give uh, this this specific folder. Um, I hope you guys can can take a look at it and maybe maybe find some uh, some some issues with it. Maybe try to hack it. Um, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the the video and I will see you on the next one.